Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. I finally get to talk about the most important subject to do with the 2022 Toyota Tundra, and that is the overall driving experience and driving feel of the all new Tundra. I know that you have been waiting for my feedback about this, so I'm really sorry that I'm very late in getting this out to you, but I have a lot to share with you about the 2022 Tundra driving experience. I'm going to be absolutely honest and authentic and objective in explaining the way the Tundra feels on the road. And I'm going to explain this in a way perhaps no one else has done, which is to give you the straight scoop on whether or not Tundra is better than or worse than its main competitors, such as the Ford F-150, the Ram 1500, the Nissan Titan, and GMC Sierra slash Chevy Silverado combination. And I'm going to explain this in seven key categories, which include the steering feel, that's number one, number two, the handling, number three, the ride and the suspension feel, number four, the engine feel, number five, the transmission shifting, number six, noise, vibration, harshness, or NVH, and number seven, the braking feel. So let me give you my opinion and my feeling of how the Tundra drives on all seven categories. Welcome back. As I mentioned, I'm going to talk about the Tundra and how it feels on the road based on those seven categories I just mentioned earlier. Now it's going to be my opinion and my viewpoint and it could be different from other people's opinion, but that's okay because you're here to listen to my viewpoint as an automotive engineer. Now I'm going to give you some of my comments right here in the studio where it's quiet and I can reflect on this very carefully. But I'm also going to show you the actual footage of me driving the Tundra because I made a whole bunch of comments when I was driving the truck as well. And hopefully after I've explained everything through the seven categories, it'll be clear to you exactly how the Tundra feels on the road. The very first point I'm going to talk about is the steering feel of the new Tundra. Now to me, this is very important because the steering feedback or the steering feel is what determines whether or not you enjoy driving the truck in terms of day-to-day -day driving. Some car companies prefer to design the steering so that it's a little bit heavier and stiffer, while others like lighter, perhaps a little bit more abstract feeling. They all have a different reason for doing this, but where does Tundra set in comparison to its competitors? Now, if I were to rank the Tundra in the spectrum of the steering feel, I would rank it from the stiffest, most amount of road feel, to the lightest, most abstract, or perhaps even most numb feel. So where does Tundra fit? Well, I would say the Nissan Titan has the stiffest, heaviest, and most amount of road feel. It's not necessarily better that way, but it does give you a lot more road feel and makes you feel like you're driving a truck. I do like a heavier, more hefty steering feel. So personally, I really like the Titan's steering but it could be considered a little bit too heavy for some people. Second to Titan in terms of the heavy steering or steering with a stiff feeling is the GMC Chevrolet Duo. Both the Sierra and Silverado have a really good hefty feel to the steering, once again, making it feel more like a truck and give you a fair amount of road feel. And on top of that, I think the GM product have the best balance of the feeling when it comes to steering. Next is the Ford F-150 and the Ram. They're quite similar to each other, a little bit lighter than either one of those two, but still provide a fair amount of road feedback. Which brings us to the lightest and most abstract steering feel, and that would be the Tundra. Again, it doesn't mean that that is necessarily a bad thing. It just means that it is somewhat overboosted in terms of power assist. It is still precise and accurate, so there's nothing wrong with the steering, but to me, it feels a little bit overboosted, and I would prefer a little bit heavier, more stiffer steering. So that's the quick spectrum when it comes to the steering feel. Which of these trucks provide the best balance of the steering effort and the steering feel and stiffness? I think it is the GMC slash Chevrolet Duo, but Nissan Titan steering comes pretty close to that. Uh, if I can convince Toyota engineers to dial up the stiffness of the steering a little bit more on the Tundra, it will be near perfect. So that's my category number one. 
I will say though that the steering wheel or the steering feel, it's a little bit lighter. I'm a little bit disappointed. They kind of over boosted. Uh, it's now electric steering. It's not hydraulic anymore. And that's, uh, that's fine. Lots of electric steering has a good feel to it. But this Tundra with the electric steering, it's a little bit lighter. It's lighter than for sure the previous generation Tundra. And so it has lost a little bit of a sensation. It is very accurate regardless. So you can actually turn left and right. And the motion is slow when you move the car left and right, you can tell. But it's very controlled and it's very balanced. And wherever you go, uh, you point it and the truck goes there directly. So there's no issue with an actual capability of the steering or handling. But I will say that um, the steering has definitely lost some um, feeling. It's a little bit numb uh, in terms of the feel. So um, what can I say? I think when you move to electric steering from hydraulic, you always tend to lose some of that feeling. So that's not, that's not a surprise at all. By the way, I do want to define the meaning of handling, which is all about directional stability and how the car or truck manages to keep itself stabilized during hard cornering or during twisty turns. So it's all about the balance of the cornering and how the suspension and the steering works together to keep itself well balanced. Category number two is a handling. Now, I didn't have a chance to take the Tundra over some kind of slalom course, but I did take it through twisty rows to make sure that I understand the handling capability of the new Tundra. And again, I have driven all of the trucks, so it's really easy for me to compare. And I would say in this case, the Tundra has a really good handling. It feels precise, it feels accurate, it's reasonably quick for a truck, and more important, it feels very controlled around twisted turns. So in this category, now the Tundra comes near the top because it feels very controlled and it feels very balanced. Once again, if I look at the spectrum of all the trucks, this time I would say the Tundra has the best handling and the best capability. So the Tundra will be at this end of the scale and very closely behind the Tundra is a Ram 1500, which also has a coil springs in the back, which helps to maintain a good handling overall. I would say after that, GMC and Chevrolet trucks are very close to Ford F-150. They both have the leaf spring in the back, which sometimes is okay, but it doesn't help with the handling per se, because that setup can lose composure over twisty roads. And because the Nissan Titan has the heaviest steering, it also felt most difficult to maneuver in terms of handling. Now these are all subjective feeling based on my experience. So once again, if I had all the trucks at the exact same time going through some kind of slalom course, then the result could be different from what I'm saying. But this would be my impression so far. Now I do have a few more categories to go, but the video is getting a little bit long. So let me cover that in the next video, which includes things like the engine performance, transmission, ride, noise vibration, harshness, and braking. So please stay tuned. I'll be right back with part two of the driving experience of the 2022 Toyota Tundra. I'm signing off for now. Thank you again for watching.